P. Diddy. P. Diddy suddenly turning into the family guy over the weekend. Did you see this? I mean, every time I looked at the New York Post or the Daily Mail, I'd see more pictures of P. Diddy with his kids. I didn't even know he had kids. But of course he does. He's got multiple kids, including, um, well, this little cutie pie, his one-year-old. And then he has some twin daughters as well. And, well, he's just turned into the sudden family man. Wow. I guess, you know, having the feds raid both your homes amid allegations of, I don't even want to say this with the kids' pictures on there. Can we go to the, the feds raiding the homes? Because it's just so morbid. But, you know, look, when the feds are raiding your, your home amid allegations of trafficking in underage girls, I mean, this is, this is kind of sick stuff, right? I know we have a lot of questions like, why did it happen now? There have been a whole bunch of lawsuits, including one that was filed just like three and a half weeks before this all went down. And in that particular lawsuit by Rodney Strong, well, guess what? He's being accused of having cameras in every single room in the house that were recording at length. And those cameras were capturing all kinds of who knows what. And so when the feds got wind of that, well, then they suddenly bust in. Now, one of the things that I've said is like, why is it just now? I mean, was somebody really important on those tapes and they felt like they had to do something? And then someone over the week encountered me with this, and I wanted to bring in this point of view because it's relevant, and said, well, yeah, but would you really go in in such a big, big way? Would you make such a production of it? I mean, if you really just for intelligence purposes, you know, the, the sort of so-called swamp, if they needed to get those tapes, would they have done it this way in such a public, splashy way? Or would they have done it in a more understated way? But I still come back and say, I don't think you have a choice. Because if you want to get those tapes, you want to make sure that evidence is not destroyed by anybody but you, <laughs> right? Then you need to make sure that you go in totally unannounced in a splashy way. There's no other way to really actually do it. So I, I don't know. The jury's still out. He's trying to pretend like he's a family guy, but this guy has um, a whole lot of legal problems stacked against him and possibly, possibly some financial problems too because there were other headlines that came out over the weekend. According to new reports, P. Diddy is facing some financial challenges because he owes a whole lot of money on his homes. This was reported, uh, the bank said that he took out eight mortgages for $100 million on his three extravagant homes in Los Angeles and Miami that got raided the other day by Homeland Security. Well, it's causing people to say, hey, maybe he's not as wealthy as we thought. I'm going to just jump in and say this, okay, as a financial reporter that I am. $100 million is a lot of money, but he is a billionaire, reportedly, and mortgage rates are low or were low, right? So if you could have gotten those mortgages at 2% or 2 and an eighth, that's like free money, right? Because you could take, you know, it's, it's, you'd take that trade all day long because if you just put your money in a CD at the bank, you're going to get 4 or 5%. So if you've got a mortgage that's two or two and an eighth, then hey, of course you'd have those mortgages. So it doesn't actually surprise yours truly that he has that much in mortgage debt because it's probably a smart financial decision. And he's got, as I understand it, some smart financial people around him. So they're making educated decisions about how to move the money. How did he get this money though? Like that's one of the questions I had. Like how did he go from rapper to billionaire? And apparently it has a lot to do with not just his music empire, but his clothing empire and liquor empire. This was really interesting to me guys. So he started off as, a, as an intern at a record company and then he started like a while back, Bad Boy Records. Living up to the name there, buddy, if these allegations are true. Oh, my goodness. And then he started a clothing line called Sean John, as well as alcohol business. Like, Diageo is one of his partners, and then he has a, a big ownership, if not the entire ownership, in something called Siroc. Siroc? I, I guarantee you I've mutilated that pronunciation, so clearly I do not partake in this stuff. <laughs> anyway, so forgive me for those that do. Um, he also made an investment in Zach Posen, which is a clothing line, and then bought some kind of spinoff of one of Liz Claiborne's companies for some $20 million. And there's, this guy is an entrepreneur, an entrepreneur who's made a lot of money and might have to pay a lot of money if these allegations get proven out. I'll tell you, he's in trouble. He's in a whole lot of trouble. Sorry, P. Diddy, they're coming for you, as 50 Cent said just the other day.